Good morning. So in this particular uh, recording video, um, we're going to start with chapter 9 of Hemel Blau. So the distinct feature of chapter 9 is that the mass balance is done on the acting system. So take a look at the PowerPoint. So chapter 9 is chemical reaction, the chemical reaction equation in stoichiometry. So basically this is still mass balance, but, but now the problems involve you know, chemical reaction. So we'll tackle the first three example problem, and then you, you need to perform the sample exercises from the book. So this is example 9.1. Example 9.1 uh, asks you to balance the reaction below. Balancing reaction equation for biological reaction. So in most, most of the problem in this particular uh, chapter, you need, to, you need to perform a mass, a reaction balance before you can, you can solve the problem. So the primary energy source for cell is the aerobic catabolism, oxidation of glucose, C6H12O6, a sugar. The overall oxidation of glucose produces carbon dioxide and water by the following reaction. <clears throat> and you, you need to remember that the products of oxidation or combustion is always carbon dioxide and water. So... You need to remember that. So, in, in balancing, you need to remember this is the reaction of C6H12O6 plus AO2 giving you BCO2 and C6H2O. So, determine the values of A, B, and C that balance this chemical reaction equation. So, If you still remember, basically uh, letter B, letter B is generally equal to the number of carbon in the in this in the you know, in the substance being combusted, so that would be six, and then letter C right here is equal to the number of hydrogens divided by two. You just simply divide 12 by two. So this is going to be six and carbon or C is going to be six also. Enough. Tapos, if you still remember your general chemistry, in order to find A, Basically, uh, B, A is equal to B plus C divided by 2 because you only have one oxygen right here and then you have, you have O2 over here. No? So this, divide this by 2. So that would be A is equals to B minus C divided by 2. And then... But you have you have some oxygen right here, no? you have some oxygen right here in C six H twelve O six. So you need to subtract that oxygen in the in the formula. 
because of ductile toxin in the formula. So, minus 6. Right? So, if you substitute the bar, but, but you need to divide this also by 2, ano? To make the O2. <clears throat> okay, so if you substitute the, the values, you have 6 minus 6. C is 6, ano? Divided by 2 minus 6 over 2. So, this 2 will just cancel out. So, A, A would be equal to 6. So that's that's the balance equation. Uh, C6H12O6 plus 6CO2 plus 6O2 plus 6CO2 plus 6H2O. So this is the balance equation. You can, you can do this by inspection. No? Most of the time, quite easy to do balance balancing reaction by inspection <clears throat> pwede na bang hindi niyo naman gamitin yung mga formula na ganito ano? okay so most probably natakal niyo naman to sa general chem So let's let's try this problem. The next problem. Problem uh, example nine eight nine point two. <clears throat> Use of the chemical equation to calculate the mass of reactant given the given the reaction, not given the balance reaction. So in the combustion of heptane. CO2 is produced. Assume that you want to produce 500 kg of dry ice per hour and that 50% of the CO2 can, can be converted into dry ice as shown in figure E9.2. How many kilograms of heptane must be burned per hour? So, first first you need to, ano, to, to write the balance reaction. Oh. <clears throat> I have we have an C seven eight sixteen. This is your this is our captain. Suppose we'll react this with oxygen okay, to produce carbon dioxide and water. So the next step is to balance this chemical reaction. So it's going to be, you will, you're going to produce 7 CO2. Let's say you have 7 carbons in an heptane. <clears throat> Tapos uh, 16 divided by 2. We're going to produce 8 moles of water. That's 16 divided by 2. <clears throat> then let's, let's count the number of oxygen. <clears throat> so seven, seven, 7 coming goes to carbon dioxide. <clears throat> plus 4 going to water. That would be 7 plus 4, 11. So this is the balance reaction. <clears throat> Actually, what you're going to need is this one. This is the most important part of the balance reaction. The, the, <coughs> the stoichiometric coefficient that you're going to use in the solution. So this is the diagram. So as you can see, you, you need to produce 500 kilogram per hour of carbon dioxide. You know? <clears throat> so this amounts to 50% of the total carbon dioxide uh, produced by the reaction. So, halimbawa, we're going to uh, use as a basis, one hour of operation. <clears throat> Remember the question is how much, no? How many kilograms of 15 uh, should you use? No? So, if, if we're going to consider one hour of operation, so we need to produce 500 kilograms of carbon dioxide. 
So and and this is just fifty percent, you know. As you can see, fifty percent share of the total product. The other fifty percent become waste. So uh, overall, we're, we're going to produce one thousand kilogram. So we just simply divide this by zero point or multiply it by two, you know? Okay, so that's the next step. And then we need we need to convert this to kilogram mole. No? Because the, the ratio in the chemical reaction is in terms of mole. For every seven moles of CO2, you need one mole of C7816. So we just need to convert this to a uh, number of moles. <clears throat> so if you still remember, the molar weight of carbon dioxide is 44, diba? 12, that's, that's for carbon, plus two oxygens, that's six oxygen, the mol atomic mass of oxygen is 16. That's your oxygen. So this will give you 44. So six kilogram yung unit natin, this is 44 kilogram per kilogram. <clears throat> okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to divide this by 44 kilogram <clears throat> and then this will give you this is 44 kilogram per kilogram mole. okay and then as you can see from the balance reaction uh, this is kilogram mole CO, CO2 you, you, you need you need you, you will need you know, you, you're going to produce seven moles of carbon dioxide per or kilogram mole per kilogram mole of heptane. So again, we, 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 we need to calculate the molar mass of heptane. So the molar mass of heptane is seven times 12 plus 16, this will give you 100, no? exactly 100, 100 kilogram per kilogram more. So currently, uh, the amount in this equation is in terms of kilogram mole of C7, A16, or F10. <clears throat> so we just simply multiply this by 100 kilogram of F10 per kilogram mole. So this equation will, will give you the amount of heptane that you need to burn enough in order to produce 500 kilograms of CO. That would be 500 divided by 0.5 divided by 44 divided by 7 times 100. So that's approximately 325 kilograms of heptane. This is the final problem in this particular video. You know? Example 9.2. Application of stoichiometry when more than one reaction occur. <clears throat> so consider a limestone analysis. This is the limestone analysis. You know? It contains 92.89% calcium carbonate, 5.41% magnesium carbonate, and then 1.7% inert. So by heating the limestone, you recover oxide, known as lime. Basically, that's calcium carbonate upon heating will produce calcium oxide plus car carbon dioxide. No? 
And ito yung eating process, eating reaction. Calcium, carbonate. So, upon heating, it will produce calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. Okay, this is, this is your line. Okay, so the question is, how many pounds of calcium oxide can be made from one ton of this limestone? So, letter A, uh, we have one ton. And then if you still remember, one ton is equivalent to 2,000 pounds. Okay, so, <clears throat> we start with with 2,000 pounds of, ano, cal cal of limestone, no? So this is the, this is the composition of limestone. So 2,000 pounds of limestone. The question is how much calcium oxide is going to be produced, ano? How many pounds of calcium oxide or lime going to be produced? So 2,000 pounds of limestone. Okay. And then uh, you only have nine. This is not pure calcium carbonate. No? You only have 92.89%. So we'll multiply this with 0 0.9289. <clears throat> so at this point, you, you now have the weight or pounds of calcium carbonate. So, so the next step is uh, you're, you're going to use the stoichiometric ratio. Ano? For every one mole of calcium carbonate, you're going to produce calcium oxide. It's a balance, it's a balance reaction. Ano? So, if you're going to get the molar mass of calcium carbonate, if you still, if you still remember this from your analytical chemistry, this is exactly 100. No? 100 kilogram, uh, 100 pounds per pound mole. The molar mass of calcium carbonate is equal to calcium is 40 and then carbon is 12. Okay, so carbon is 12. And then oxygen is uh, 16. 16 times 3. If you're going to check that, you're supposed to get 100. Enough? 100 pounds per pound. check in your calculator. Tapos what about calcium oxide? The molar mass of calcium oxide is so calcium is 40 and then oxygen is 16. So the molar mass of calcium oxide is 16. So you can you can use that ratio ano? Uh, for every 100 pounds of calcium carbonate as you can see you will be able to produce 56 pounds of calcium oxide so you can use that ratio to calculate the amount of lime you're going to produce from 2,000 pounds of limestone just use your calculator to find that out
I'm getting 1,040. It's correct enough. 1,040 pounds time. So this is the answer for letter A. Okay, so the next question is how many pounds of carbon dioxide can be recovered per pound of limestone? So, uh, we're going to start with one pound of limestone. Tapos, there are two sources of carbon dioxide. Ano? Uh, heating, heating calcium carbonate will, will produce CO2. And also heating magnesium carbonate will also produce CO. Okay, so we're going to consider these two components. No? So what we're going to do is we're going to calculate the carbon dioxide from calcium carbonate and then the carbon dioxide from magnesium carbonate. So... <clears throat> you're, you're familiar with the reaction. For, for the first, for calcium carbonate, It will produce calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. So you're familiar with the molar mass. No, calcium carbonate is 100 and calcium oxide is 56. And then carbon dioxide is 44. Okay? These are the molar masses. So we're going to use those values. No? So let's, let's try to find or solve the enough. The, the pound, pounds of carbon dioxide from calcium carbonate. <clears throat> so let's start with one pound of limestone. <clears throat> and then and then basically you just you just consider the percentage, you know, this, is, this contains only 92.89% of calcium carbonate. So right now we have the pounds of you know, uh, calcium carbonate. Then uh, we, can, we can use this ratio for every 100 pounds of calcium carbonate, you're, go you're going to produce 44 pounds of CO2. We're just going to use that ratio. So times 44 all over 100. So this will give us how many pounds of CO2. Zero point. 41 pounds. Okay. <clears throat> okay. 
Now, now, now let's let's consider magnesium carbonate. So magnesium carbonate likewise will produce magnesium oxide and carbon dioxide. So carbon dioxide in this particular reaction is also 44, the molar mass 44, while magnesium carbonate is Eighty-four point thirty-two. This one is eighty-four point thirty-two. You can check your uh, periodic table. <clears throat> okay. So, so with that, we can we can now calculate the carbon dioxide from magnesium carbonate. Just consider one pound again of limestone. And then just multiply it with 5.41%. And then the ratio uh, 84.32 pounds of magnesium carbonate. Will, will produce 44 pounds of, uh, of carbon dioxide. So this will <coughs> result to 0 0.028 pounds CO. If we're going to add the two, 0.41 plus 0 0.028 or 0 0.03, this is approximately 0 0.44, no? 0 0.44 pounds of CO2. So this is the amount of CO2 that you're going to produce for every pound of uh, this letter B, no? for every pound of limestone being eaten. That's the maximum. So let's let's try to solve letter C. Letter C is how many pounds of limestone are needed to make one ton of lime. <clears throat> letter C. How many pounds of limestone are needed to make one ton of lime? So you're going to start with one ton of lime. And then, so the lime, the lime is only coming from calcium carbonate. <clears throat> so, first you calculate the amount of calcium carbonate you know, needed to produce one, time, one ton of lime. And then basically convert, convert this to the weight of limestone. That's how you try, that's how you solve letter C. Letter C. So let's let's try to solve letters. So for letter C, uh, let's start with one ton of lime. Remember, one ton is equivalent to 2,000 pounds. So let's start with 2,000 pounds of lime. Lime is calcium oxide. So what we're going to do is we're going to convert this to calcium carbonate. You know? So simply by dividing this with 56 that's the molar mass of calcium oxide, and then multiplying this by 100. So right now, we have the pounds of uh, <coughs> limes, uh, cal cal limestone, yes, calcium carbonate. Tapos, uh, remember that 
calcium carbonate is only 92.89% of the, of the limestone. Just simply divide this with 0 0.92. I'm getting uh, 3,845. You will, if you will uh, compare the answer to in the, you know, in the book, uh, you will find a different answer because the book solution have, has not considered uh, that the limestone is only 92.89% calcium carbonate. So I guess this particular answer is more accurate. And so try to answer the, <coughs> the exercises. Uh, related to this topic, you know, mass balance with chemical reaction. So, see you on the next video.